Alright guys, what I'm going to do today is I did a building shader video and I'm going to back this up a little bit because uh, I wasn't aware of it. I was just basically showing how to utilize the shader and how it worked as far as the arrays went. But if you were wanting to upload something to Giants, I was told they'll basically fail to ma automatically if you use that array texture that I was showing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in this first video, I'm going to show you how to make your own kind of array out, out of their files that they supply anyway. Uh, and we'll kind of go from there and then I'll show you some other things I found in the actual shader with some help with uh, my guys over uh, Farmer Boys modding uh, NC Raiders, Maverick, and then uh, Shy Wizard's been there as well. I'm going link, to uh, link him as well in the, in the next video, I think, because he, he shows how to do some painting. I'm going to do it as well with 2.8. He was using, the, I believe, 2.9 blender, but, or 7.9 blender. <clears throat> but anyway, if you want to get those textures, Rather than me supply them, they've got them right here. Basically, you just go to Giants Developer Network, and as you can see, you just simply Google Giants Developer Network. Um, click on that link, and you will have to register if you don't already. More than likely, if you're modding at all, you already have this. But um, once you get logged in, have that on another browser here. So I don't have to show them to type it in my password. <laughs> but you just go to Downloads, and you slide on down. There's the building or the FS19 Building Array Map Europe and FS19 Building Array Map America. So you just simply click on them and download them. Um, I've already got them on my computer and like I said, I think one of my videos actually has some links to a similar file or similar folder. In fact, I might have actually put these in that folder. I'm not sure. Uh, I'd have to dig into that as well. But what I'm going to show is how you can take these. So the, these are, here's the Giants Developer Network, so you've got the Rays American, and so what they do is they supply you with all the different um, layers. If you were to open the uh, array, I, I kind of show it in the one video. If you open it in GIMP, all these are piled on top of each other. It's such a massive file, I think, is why they don't want you using it. But what I'll show here is, and if anyone knows how to use Paint.net, they can do this pretty simply. Uh, but we're going to take the diffuse, the normal, and the specular, and we're going to make our own four grid, basically a one wide by four four down, so it's a 124 by uh, 4096. But it's a little bit tricky trying to get them placed right, and it's not as technical as, as far as being seamless. Like you don't want to be getting in between these uh, two layers here anyway. You're going to want to keep your UV, UVs in these, in these spots from the left to the right. You don't want to be getting close to the edge anyway. But I'm going to show you how I, I didn't paint that, and I'm probably doing it probably someone has a lot better idea and, and be a lot faster than what I'm doing but this is how I basically did it so what I did is I just started writing paint.net and to get this to function right it, it's a little goofy anyway I, what I did is I went uh, I started with a 1024 by a 1024 then I went ahead and I made a 1024 by whoops 1024 by um, 2048 and the biggest thing is you're going to want, it's called uh, fill from clipboard. I'll see if I can find the actual down or the plugin or not, but if you just, if you simply look for a, a plugin for paint on that called fill from clipboard, and a lot of times it's included in a bunch of your add-ons anyway, so you might already, might already have it anyway. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this guy black. You'll see why I'm doing this. And once again, someone else may know how to do this a lot quicker, so this is just the way I did it. it. It didn't take too long. It's a little time consuming, but it's not bad. So once we get this back, we're just going to hit Control A, Control C. We're going to go to this image that is 1024 by 2048. We're going to hit Control V. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and select all. Control C. We're going to go ahead and make another image. We're going to go 1024 by 4096. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply hit Control A. We're going to go Effects. We're going to go Fill from clipboard and right here you've got the option we're going to go ahead we're going to go tiling no mirroring hit ok so what that's going to do is that's going to let us get an even one two three and a four I wanted the black white and black white so I could simply take the magic wand here and click on that area and you'll see that in a little bit so we can go ahead and get rid of that we don't need that anymore we don't need that anymore now what I did do is I went ahead and I went file save as and I put this somewhere on my computer I'd have to find it again in fact I'll go ahead and my custom array I'm just gonna hit um, custom array starting 
probably got 10 of these somewhere. <laughs> Grid, like so. Just going to save it as a PNG because it doesn't really matter at this point. So then what we're going to do is we're going to start looking at those those uh, files and uh, you know we're just going to say okay what do we want to grab out of here what do we like so we'll just go to Giants Developer Network Array we'll go to American let's just see and I think I have you I'm already extra large sometimes you got to kind of open them up and look at them but we can just kind of scroll down and go you know what there's something different there's like a blue so I'm going to I'm going to select all three of these I'm going to get the diffuse the normal and the specular and we'll go ahead and open them up and there's actually a couple of cool ones in there I think I'll grab um, I kind of like that and that one. So what we'll do is I actually take this, I hit Control All, Control C, or Control A, Control C, and I go Edit, Paste into New Layer. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this so it doesn't confuse me. Control A, Control C, and I Edit, Paste into New Layer. What I try to do is I try to keep things fluent here. I'm gonna keep my diffuse on top, so I just grabbed it and pulled up my left mouse button. I try to keep the specular in the middle and the normal in the bottom. It just it helps me out in the end. Um, so what we'll do, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this top one here. This is an example. Um, here's where it gets a little tricky. As you can see, these aren't exactly 1024 uh, up and down, so it's 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 not a huge deal. I like to try to keep it as fluent as possible. But the biggest thing is we want to make sure we're grabbing all these the same as why I do it this way. So I'm basically gonna take this. And I'm gonna grab from right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull all the way down to, the, to that area right there. I'm going to control C. And I'm going to go edit, paste into new image. And then what I want to do is I'm going to image, canvas size. So actually we end up pretty close. Um, you can see the top's a little messed up. Um, it's, it's not going to be a big deal because like I said, you're going to want to try to keep your UVs in here anyway. My biggest point is I want to try to keep this at a, uh, at a 1024 by 1024. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a 1024. Like I said, we could move it to the top, do different things. We got to watch because we're going to be copying and pasting back into this. So I want to keep it centered. So I'm just going to hit OK. Um, and there, there's another. Yeah, I think there's another way to align things as well. As well. But like I said, this just simplifies things. So what I'm going to do is I'm come right back into this this image that we basically popped all those layers into. I'm going to jump down to that specular layer. I'm just going to hit Control C, come into here. I'm going to go Edit, Paste into New Layer keep canvas size because that's going to keep it centered up so basically if we delete that or we don't make it not visible you can see it it's it's lined up pretty good um we're going to come right back here we're going to go to the normal layer control c edit paste into layer we're going to hit keep canvas size again once again i'm going to, I'm going to put these in line so i'm not getting myself confused I'm go ahead and select that layer I'm going to come over here i've already got this selected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, first off, I'm going to add three layers, make three layers out of this. So we'll have a layer. So basically that's going to be our diffuse, our specular, and our normal. And you could, I mean, you could come in here and rename it if you want, but I don't think we need to do that. But just so it's spec normal. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up, we're going to go effects. I have that highlighted and I have the diffuse layer highlighted. I'm going to go I'm going to go fill from clipboard. And what I can do again is I can go ahead and select um, tiling no mirroring. It's only going to fill that that square and I've actually got the wrong one selected. I need to be on diffuse. So hit control C. Come back over here. It's no big deal. Just paste right over that. So we'll just go effects. Re and I can hit repeat repeat from clipboard because it's all because we're just going to keep doing the same thing basically. So we have our diffuse in the top spot. We're going to come back over here. We're going to grab the spec. Make sure you have that highlighted. Just hit control C. Come back over here. I want to grab the spec layer. I'm just going to go effects. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Effects, repeat from clipboard. So what it did is if we hide that diffuse, it put our spec right up top there. So that's all we're doing, we're just going to line these up and when we get done all, with all of them, we're just going to in, individually save them out as the fuses back in the normal. Um, so we're going to slide back over here, go to the normal layer, hit control C. Once again, make sure you're on the normal layer, effects, repeat from clipboard. So now we have a diffuse, we have a spec, and we have a normal setup for our top spot. So we're going to go ahead and grab the fuse. So now we can go back in. We're just going to basically close this file, don't save. Close this file, don't save. We, I was going to grab another one off there, but just to make it 
show you what you know, what we're trying to do. We're just going to do it this way. So let's go ahead. Let's grab 13. Lucky number 13. Open him up. Same thing. We're just going to hit Control All C. Edit. Paste into new layer. Close that out. Control All C. Edit. Paste into new layer. Go ahead and get rid of that again. And once again, I'm going to just to simplify things to keep it in the normal. I have my diffuse, my spec, and my normal. So, all right, let's go in. Let's grab this brick layer. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in here, holding control. I'm using my middle mouse button, basically scroll in and out and move by clicking it. I'm just going to grab up just a little higher than the top of this, and I'll go just a little lower than that texture. I'm going to make sure I'm on the background. Control C, edit, paste into new image. Once again, I'm going to go image, canvas size. We're just going to go 1024 on the height. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It seams it off pretty good. It's going to come back over here. We're going to grab the specular. Control C. Come over here. Edit. Paste into new layer. We want to keep canvas size. We don't want to expand it. It's going to keep it at the 1024. Um, going to come back over here. Go to our normal. Control C. Edit. Paste into new layer. Keep canvas size again. Once again, I'm going to move these around so they're in order. So it's easier for me. My brain's pretty simple sometimes. Alright, so what we're going to do is we want to click on the diffuse, we want to grab this magic wand, we want to click on that white. And we're basically going to go effects, repeat from clipboard. And what it's going to do, and I did it again, I don't know how I keep doing that. <laughs> um, oops. I'm on the diffuse, control C, effects, repeat. Okay, so we have our brick. Go back to spec. In fact, I can get rid of this file. I think that's what keeps messing me up. We don't need that anymore. We're going to spec, control C, come back over here, we're on the spec, we're just going to go effects, repeat. As you can see the specular popped in there, so now we have two speculars and two diffuses. We're going to go down to the normal, come over here, grab the normal, control C, edit. We're on the normal, so we're going to edit, paste into new layer. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Delete. I'm already screwing myself up here. Top, top, cutter spec. Okay. Sorry about that. I want to delete that. I want to go effects. Pete from clipboard. There we go. Wow. I'm so used to it. Can paste in a new layer that I about screwed that one up. <laughs> And I did that um, running through, running uh, how I was going to do the video, but we're going to go ahead and select this area again. Oh, oh, oh i got to go to the fuse. My bad. If you go down here, it's going to pick up. Basically, it's looking at that, so that's why when I hit that, it selected that entire section. In fact, yeah. Like so. So you want to make sure you have the fuse selected. And when you're on the fuse, because you got to remember how the layers are. Like I said, my simple brain doesn't follow it sometimes. That's why I'm doing it this, th probably doing this the hard way. So we're going to go ahead and dump that file. We already have our, our diffuse specular normal for our second one now. So you see there's one, two, one, two, one, two. So now we're going to grab a third image. So let's, just for the heck of it, let's go over the European. Let's see what we got in here. Um, so this looks interesting here. I'll grab those three files. Let's grab that wood fence just for the heck of it. Um, so I'm going to zoom in, grab the selection box. I'm going to get up a little bit higher than what the image is, down a little more. Control C, edit, paste into new image. We're going to go little image, canvas size, and this one's actually quite a bit bigger, so 1024. That looks pretty decent. I'm um, going to come back over here actually, and I already screwed up. So I forgot to bring all those in. So control all, control C, got ahead of myself. Paste into new layer, delete that. Control all, control C. Edit, paste into new layer. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Go ahead and delete that again because it's going to be messed up. I don't have my starting grid. So diffuse up there. I'm going to pull the specular into the middle. Once again, we'll just do the selection box. Let's scroll down, get a decent size here. Control C, edit, 
paste it to new image. Image canvas size, and once again, 1024 for the height. Oops, 1024 for the height. There we go, we got a nice clean image. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to grab our specular layer, control C, edit, paste into new layer, keep canvas size, pull that down. I'm going to come over here, we're going to grab the normal layer, control C, edit, paste into new layer, keep canvas size. So we have our diffuse, we have our specular, and we have our normal. Simple as that. So we'll go ahead and make sure we're on our diffuse so that way we're ahead of the game. We can close that file out, we're done with it. And we're going to fill in here on the diffuse. So once again, I want to be on my diffuse at control C. Effects, repeat from clipboard. There we go. And go to the spec. Spec on this image, control C. Effects, repeat from clipboard. And if we get rid of that, we have a spec there. And go to the normal layer, come over here, down to the normal again, control C, edit. Oops, I about did it again. Effects, repeat from clipboard. Simple brain, simple brain. So we already got three done. So let's go grab a fourth one. Don't save already. So let's just kind of look through. Ah, what the heck? Um, I'm gonna grab this guy here. Oops. So that's kind of a cool texture. I like that. So let's grab these. So we're gonna grab him. Control all or control A. I keep saying control all. Control C. Edit. Paste into new layer, we can close that, control A, control C, edit, paste into new layer, we can delete that again. Once again, we'll keep this in the same direction, so we'll go to fuse, specular, normal, just to keep it somewhat the same. Um, should have done this one first because we could have done, put it on top, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in really good. Just going to grab from the top, I'm going to come down all the way to here, control C, whoops. Make sure I'm on a diffuse one. Control C, edit, paste into new image. Image, canvas size. This one, hopefully, I kept it even on top and bottom because this one's been cut quite a bit off. So 1024. That's not too bad looking. So we'll come back over here. We'll grab the spec. Control C, edit, paste into new layer. Keep canvas size. Pull him down. We'll go to the normal, control C, edit, paste into new layer, keep canvas size again, pull the normal to the bottom, so we have our diffuse, our specular, and our normal. And what bothers me is it looks like it's pulling that normal off a little bit when I paste it in that way. So you have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, better... Uh, I'm redo this one because that doesn't look right. We have, I think what it did is it centered it. Control A, Control C, edit, paste into new layer, keep canvas size. And I did dumb move again. Oh, like an idiot, I was copying the whole thing anyway. Edit. One, two, oops. Edit, redo, edit, redo. So on the background, control C. Let's delete a couple of these layers. Edit, paste into new layer, keep canvas size. You see it drops it down a little bit. Once again, it's it's not a big deal. I didn't notice on the other ones that doing it that bad, but you just want to stay away from the top when you're doing your UVs anyway. I wouldn't use the whole um, grid, but it's probably a good way to do this. And once again, like I said, I'm not quite smart enough to do it, I guess. So what I could actually do, here's one other option. We can hit Control C, close this out, don't save, edit, paste into new image, like so. And then what I can do, yeah, this will work. We'll grab the spec, control C, edit, paste into new layer. This is actually a better idea. Grab the normal, control C, 
edit, paste into new layer. So what I can do is I can go image, canvas size. Um, see, it doesn't make any sense because it's showing in the center, but I need to do this afterwards. Yeah, that makes sense. So if I go 1024, so what it's going to do is it's going to center it now before I was pasting to the top. So that makes sense. I hit OK. Now when we look at our layers, so there's our normal, there's our specular. So now we're going to line up better. Okay. So that was my fault. So that's something I learned in the video. And I'll do it next time as well. The normal's a little off, but the normal's a little offset anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Specular's right on. Normal's going to look goofy, I mean, because like I said, it's usually offset a little bit anyway because of the color, so we're not going to worry too much about that. So once again, we'll Control A, Control C. We'll come over here. Make sure we select the diffuse. Use our magic wand on that white. We're gonna hit Effects, Repeat from Clipboard. Come back over here. I'm gonna grab our specular. Control C. We can delete this. Go to our spec. Control, or I'm sorry, Effects. Repeat from Clipboard. And we're gonna want a normal. Normal layer, control C, back over here. Oh, sorry the dog's barking. Control V. We just pasted it in, so get the dog handled. So there we go. Now we have our diffuse, our spec, and our normal. In fact, that didn't control Z. Z. Something didn't take right there. Oh no, what I did. I did it. I heard a dog barking and panicked and I'm going to go effects, repeat from clipboard. There we go. So now we have our diffuse. We take that out. You can see our speculars line up pretty good. Take our normals out. Our specular, our normals line up pretty good. So we can simply go like this. Now you can save, you can copy these all out and do however you want to save these, but this, this is the easiest way for me. I'll basically just take and I'll delete these layers like so. And I'll go File, Save As. So I'm going to be OneDrive, Building Array Custom, and I'm going to go as a DDS. I'm going to call this 2 underscore Diffuse. Hit Enter. And I want to save it as DTX1, Generate Mitmap. Hit OK. And if I hit Control Z, Control Z, it'll bring my layers back in so I can delete the fuse, delete the normal, File save as, we're going to call this 2spec. Hit OK. Control Z. Bring our normal back in. We can go ahead and close that out. And we just go file, save as, and this is our normal. Like so. Once again, DTX1, generate mipmap, and hit OK. So, like I said, you could hit you could keep all these layers on here and you can save it as a PDN so that way if you want to go in and change something later you did mess up you still have it and that's probably a smart thing to do but worst case scenario I can copy them all in as layers again and start over so that is uh, short and simple So basically now when you bring it into to Blender just to show you real quick and I said I'll, I'll do that video separately I think we go control A uh, or I'm sorry shift A we bring in a cube go to my model here so we can simply open up our texture in Blender so we can see it. Let's go custom and we want to do two diffuse. That's what we had. So basically there you go. You have your your new array in there. Um and you would just basically move your uh sync this up, go to face, and you could basically just take this guy and move him however you want way you want. Like I said, I'll do that in the next video because I'm gonna show you something I've been playing with. Shy Wizard was a huge help. Um, huge shout out to him. I'm sure you guys have seen him if you're watching this um, on explaining how uh, some more of the shader textures work. So we'll get into that on the next video. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.